Hi, let's welcome back to another important session. So in my previous session, I have shown you uh, what is the cycle in S4 HANA, that is backend, like uh, your regular ECC. In this session, I'm going to see uh, and show you order delivery and invoice by using Fury apps, okay, Fury apps. This is very, very important. Sometimes being a functional, you're supposed to perform unit testing using Fury apps. So this minimum kind of introduction should be needed for S4 HANA. Probably I will try to get into the few, uh, I mean, uh, make a habit of uh, using Fury apps uh, for beginners uh, that will be useful for you. Okay, let's see this today now. And uh, I have given one more session, which is exactly important, uh, which transaction we have to use in uh, your uh, S4 system to drive back to your S4 HANA Fury screen through using transaction code, okay? Let's see this. If you are directly seeing this video, then I will show you again, no issues. So let's go back to S4 screen. And this is the transaction, okay? So slash and UI2 on FLP, okay? Let's click this. Okay, it opens a browser screens to get login. I'm just entering the username. It can be anything, your user, whatever it is got created. I'm just entering the password. Okay, so I'll just uh, give an uh, advice for you. Generally, uh, if you try to use the same link in the Microsoft Edge, it is a bit slower, better try to use Chrome, okay? That's what I want to say, it depends. In my system, it is exactly same thing happening every time, okay? So now, see, these are the tiles, as I explained you, by using these tiles, the whatever the link behind in it, so you can able to uh, use it, okay? For your S4 system. So here, these are the tabs got created. This is by uh, like, you know, your Fury Design Consultant. There's nothing to worry. You just have to give the requirement, they will do that. Let's try to search VA01, okay? So it's uh, taking time. It's sometimes in some systems, it checks your patients. Now you can see create sales order VA01. So here two, uh, Fury links or tabs they have given create customer return without reference. Okay, so we're not great. We're not going to create return. So let's see this create sales order. Okay. See. Everything is got developed in HTML screen, right? So this is a similar way, like uh, if you click the more, okay, you can able to access all the options, how you can able to access in your uh, backend. You see this, it is processing, it's a bit slow. So if you click this, you can able to use all these options, how you can able to use on your main menu, either ECC or S4. Okay, let me take my document type. Let's go for the list. I'll show you. Okay, so probably if you want, you can able to search here, the options available. So mine is this one. I'm choosing this option as credit sales. Okay, let's try to give the sales organization. Okay, this is the DRT one. It will give the drop down. no issues. This is my division. Let's press enter. Okay, so either you can below continue, you can click or press enter in the similar way how you are doing. Okay, so I'm just entering my soul to party. Okay, so press enter. So test OTC on Fury. Okay. Let's click, 
let's press enter all these are the warning messages i'm just entering this is these are the materials are already pre-created okay so whatever the data i have you are finding this this is exactly the bp number or customer role which is got associated you can able to find the uh, you know how to create a bp if you are not at introduced to s4 you can able to find in my set of videos so you can subscribe and you can able to learn it i have given the detailed video how to create a bp master data okay so probably in future if any chances are there we can able to add the configuration also so let's go to the header because oh, these are the mandatory fields so let me put this one fob and hamburg i'm just doing this one see fried read it remind and i'm just giving the payment terms okay so because i haven't assigned to the customer role this one okay now let's go to edit and check in complete log. So your document is completed. Let's save the sales order. See, credit sales 186, it is got created. Okay. So if you would like to check, you can check in the similar way in the display. So let's try to create the delivery now. So now I'm just typing the VL01N. This is the transaction. Okay. So with reference or without reference, two apps got created. Let's create with reference. Similar way you can play with either mobile or any other device, the same story by end user. That's why they have given this one. Okay. So I'm just giving this one DRP1. Uh, so probably I'm just trying to give nine because of certain lead times. Let's change and press enter. Okay. Let's click on continue. Okay. This is wrong. DR. S1 is my shipping point. Okay. So now you can able to see this is the delivery screen. Let's go for picking. I haven't done automatic picking. Probably I will show you in future how to do this. Let's press enter. I have picked the quantity. Now it is fully picked actually. Okay. The similar way how you do in your ECC. Let's click on the post goods issue. For post goods issue, we are using this moment type. Let's click on this. Okay, now see your outbound delivery eight. Okay, so uh, what is this? Eight four zero so double one three. It is got created. Now let's try to create VF zero one. This is for billing. So it's slow. Let me try to do this. Okay, I got create billing document. Okay, before going ahead, I'm just creating the billing. So uh, the required document, if you go back also, see this is the document, okay? Automatically it is coming. So let's press enter. So let me try to save this. Let me click. This is the item level. Let's try to go to header actually. So, so let me try to choose an account assignment group. Okay. Let's try to save this. 
see you see your document got nine four zeros zero six nine it is what created if you'd like to go display mode you can go okay let's click this you can able to see this let's click this You can able to see accounting documents. You can see the entries, right? So generally, what happens? So when you, whenever you create a bill, okay, customer account will be debited, revenue account will be credited. When you do the settlement at finance end, as of now the entries will be opposite in nature that you can observe. Okay, so this is how you can able to play with the system in S4 HANA. Okay, so thank you. So I have few courses which is on sales and distribution and pricing on ECC as for HANA. So if you are not at it, introduce you to this course as a PS4 HANA simple logistics business partners, you can subscribe it. So you can able to get a good knowledge and a good introduction about, you know, how customer master data is designed with the help of CVA integration concept, actually customer vendor concept. Okay. So I have few set of courses. If you are very new to industry, you can able to subscribe this course, how to write a functional specification. Okay, probably these uh, link descriptions I'm giving uh, below of uh, my YouTube videos, any one of the videos you can go and uh, if you want, you can able to purchase and you can able to get the course actually. Okay, this you can see this, uh, this is one of the top course, which is 70.5 hours, which will be eventually Time to time it is get updated. Okay, total 166 lectures on ACC. Okay, you can utilize it an opportunity. Okay, so that's all. I think uh, uh, my session is helpful to you. Okay, when it comes to Fury apps, we'll slowly we just uh, try to subscribe this channel. We'll get into that uh, back to back. Okay, this uh, whatever the possibility is there. This is basically practice system. I don't have Fury consultant on my hand. So let me show you functionally. So it will give some confidence if you'd like to get into the S4HANA project. Thank you very much. Have a great day.